everyone, and welcome to EDN 521, Diverse Children and Families in Educational Settings. So in this video, I wanted to walk you through our course and some um, of the important documents and information before you get started. So the page you see here, this is called our front page. When Every time you log in, you should be able to see this page and you'll be able to access everything that you need for the class and the different modules from this page. So a couple of things to point out. So you see, I call these um, buttons, but you have meet your instructor, the syllabus, tech support, and then down here you have the different modules for the class. So you'll be able to click on these and for example, you click here, it will take you to module one to get started. So in previous classes, if you were with us last semester or before, um, you would see a module link here. I took that away. Um, my hope is that using these buttons will be easy enough for you that you can just click here, get started, work through the module, um, and sometimes students get lost uh, going down different rabbit holes. Another thing that's very helpful, you'll see the to-do list for you, for this particular class. Any of your Canvas classes, you'll have the to-do list. So that's a nice way um, to stay on track of your assignments and things like that that are due. So with this being your first time um, looking at this class, to get started, if you're not familiar with me, if you haven't had me before in class, I encourage you to click on the Meet Your Instructor and read more about me. You also need to check out the syllabus. So definitely um, download your copy, either print it out and keep it or save it to your computer and you need to read it. What you see here is more of the calendar for the class. You'll see our content falls into three major modules. This class, I um, the content and the materials that we will look at and use will be a mixture of documentaries, academic reading, um, and then I'm drawing a blank. Oh, and then a our textbook is called Unequal Childhoods, Class, Race, and Family Life. If you want to buy this book, you can. Um, the university, UNCW, does have a digital copy um, through their library. So if you would rather not buy the book, you can go in through the library, download the chapter or the pages that you need, uh, print those out or just read it on your computer or tablet, however you read best. So do know if you don't want to buy it, um, you do have access through the library. I'm more of a, I like to hold the physical book, so I have um, my own hard copy. Do keep in mind you need to get the second edition if you purchase it. Okay, so... The first module, Funds of, our no funds of Knowledge, we're going to uh, reflect and get to know our Funds of Knowledge, then we're going to think about our peers, and then we're going to watch our first documentary called Babies, um, and we'll analyze what we see for Funds of Knowledge there. Um, module 2, and you see that the modules, they're pretty lengthy, so it sounds like, oh, okay, just three modules. No, there's... A, a lot going on in each of the modules. In just a minute I will go over the Child of Our Time documentary and assignment. That's something that you'll need to sign up for very quickly. So looking um, under your assignment due dates and important dates you'll see your first discussion board. Your post is due on the 24th and then you need to respond to uh, you need to watch peers uh, post and then do a response by Wednesday the 27th. Also by Sunday you need to sign up for um, the Child of Our Time discussion facilitator and I'll show you a video about that. Down here this is also helpful. Um, it shows you your assignments and when they're due. If you click on this link it will take you right to that assignments um, page. Do not come to this page and just blow through the assignments. You need to read the materials and things that I've provided. So from our home page, when you're ready to get started in module one, you need to click on module one. 
And here you see the module overview, the objectives, and then the assignments here. And so sometimes there may be more readings. Um, it may say module readings that you need to do. Uh, sometimes the um, readings are built in. For example, the theories and models for family engagement. When you're ready to work on um, this particular uh, piece of the module and you click on it, then you'll... S oh dear. I'll have to fix that. Um, but so my point is make sure you go to the module overview page, read about what the module is about, and then work your way through the module assignments. You can also click next and it will um, take you to the first thing that you need to do to get started. Um, let's see. So, as you're getting started, after you've watched this video, um, you'll want to click on the Get Started link and you'll see this page. This information is also found on the paper syllabus. I've just shared it here also. So you see the course objectives, you see how it relates to Watson's conceptual framework, um, and then you see things you need to do to get started. So you want to make sure you review the syllabus, review the overview of the course, professional expectations of graduate students, there's a one question quiz, and then you need to sign up for the child of our time slot. And like I said, there's a video there too. So I'm excited to get started. I hope you all are. Um, so let me know if you have questions as you begin to move through um, the getting started piece. One thing that I want to make very clear is if you have questions, email me to my UNCW email account. Do not send me a message through Canvas because a lot of times I will miss these. Um, if you send it to my UNCW account, I will see it.